judge.me Shopify tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to present for you the app of judge.me and how we can install it into our Shopify store. Also what is the purpose of this app. Basically the app of judge.me you can go ahead and find it when you're going to have the access to your admin dashboard on your Shopify store. It is going to be very simple signing into your, your account and your store on Shopify. Click on the search bar and type in judge just like that the me so you're going normally to find the app from here but i'm going to show it for you uh, from the app store this is the new logo of it they had a uh, ancient logo or an old logo which is going to have the g in the center and also a darken uh, blue right there but it is going to be the new one so we are going to click on it this is the whole title judge.me product reviews app built for shopify so we are going to have a free plan available click on install wait for a few seconds and then we are going to find it right there now we are going to click on install after that, wait for a few seconds until it is going to give you the update on your Shopify App Store. Now, what we're going to do is to pin it to the navigation by clicking on here. Boom. Now, on the onboarding section, we're going to set up the language, also the widget and the email language, and where do we want to install it or where the theme is going to be situated that we are using. Now, for the language, we're not going to have a lot of languages, but we have basically going to have a number of six languages. Select the language. For the widget and email languages, we are going to have here tons and tons of the languages. Go ahead and select it for the, uh, the uh, convenient language for you, of course. And finally, where would you like to install it? Basically, it is going to give you only uh, the themes that are available into your library or the uh, Shopify theme library. I'm going to select the default, click on start setup. Now we're going to enable or stop by having the four steps. We have the first one is going to be the app embed. We're going to enable the app embed. The second one is going to be the installation of the widget. Third step is going to be the branding, how we are going to use it and the request timing. Now, we're going to click on enable app embed. It will open up the editor or the Shopify store editor. Then we're going to find the app. Normally it will take you right there to this specific section to the app embeds. I'm going to click on save since it has been activated already. Now, in case you haven't found this one or you have seen, uh, let's say this particular part for the sections, you're going to head over the app embeds. Select from here the judge.me and activate it just like that. Click on save and boom. The first step is done. Normally you are going to have the actualization of the step and move on to the second one. Now we're going to install the review widget because it is going to give you the rating and also the number of stars for the reviews. Click on install widget. Normally we are going to um, not enable it, but basically we are going to have it as a section. So we are going to add the section where it is going to be situated. Once you have clicked on the button of uh, here, as you can see, uh, click to try, uh, not click to try again, but go to uh, create the widget. It is going to be right here. It is going to be adding it. So we are going to get the quick guide. I'm going to uh, skip that. So we have here the uh, review widget. So this is the review widget. As you can see, it is going to be a very large widget or section. It is going to be composed from the customer reviews of the stores. Here, as you can see, uh, we have some reviews. They are going to be automatically generated. Doesn't matter a lot. So now we're going to have the right of setting up the app so I can go ahead and get it from here and place it into another place but we're going to let it here why because it is going to be something crucial to have it at the end of the product so 
With that said, it is going to be crucial to click on save. That was the second step. Close the window, wait for it, and we're going to find the block installed. Now it is going to switch up to the other thing or the other widget, which is going to be complementary to the rating one. And this is the star rating. It is going to be something into the sport. So we are going to find some stars or some review stars about uh, the product. So we're going to click on, click on install. Wait for a few seconds. We're going to see the shop by store and we want to place it under the price. So it has placed it right there. So now what I am going to do is to place it under the price because we need it here. Or you can go ahead and put it above the price. It is going to be better. So the people are going to be seeing the rating before the price. So something like that. Click on save. Now, in case you haven't found the block or the widget from here, you can go ahead and head over the sections, click on add sections, click on apps, and you're going to find the review widget, review carousel, and etc. Now for the store review or store rating, you're going to find it into a block. So select one of the product information, as you can see, uh, elements. Between each one of them, you're going to find the plus button. Click on add block. Click on apps. You're going to find from here star ratings. Click on it and you're going to find it. Basically, you're not going to get only the star ratings, but we have the UGC, media grid, verified review, badge, and etc. So I have saved that. I'm going to exit, wait for it to validate, and then it will take me to the other uh, step, which is going to be the branding. Now, to set up the branding, you're going to have to add the store logo URL. So it is not going to be uploading a logo, but basically you're going to have a format of 16 by 9 and also a 1 by 1 or 1 by uh, 1, as you can see, a little square. Is going to be fine so in my case i do not have a store logo url i'm going to ignore that step and click on continue the last step is going to be the automatic review request so it is going to be on and we're going to set up the domestic orders and the international orders so this step uh, they will start sending reviews requests emails for the new orders automatically after they have been uh, let's say uh, bought and also uh, uh, arrived to the customers. So after 14 days on the international orders and the domestic orders, they are going to find an email in their in inboxes that will help them or give them a link to uh, rate the product. Basically, it is going to be an automation. So on the dem domestic orders, I'm going to have it maybe as 10 days. International orders, we're going to have it as maybe 21 days. And then we're going to click on finish. Here we have it. Now, you can either explore the judge.me app or you can go ahead and import the reviews. So if you have already some products that you are selling that has some reviews other er uh, elsewhere, I mean, it is going to be crucial to know where it is it. So basically, if you are going to be drop shipping, that means that the source is not yours. So you're going to either have from eBay, products from eBay or from AliExpress. You can go ahead and have the import reviews button clicked and then you're going to have the permission to import the reviews from a link. So you can import reviews from a CSV file, or you can go ahead and import them from an e-commerce platform like AliExpress, Amazon, Etsy, WooCommerce, and etc. So it is going to be very simple. Now heading back to the uh, judge.me, as you can see, dashboard, we're going to find some of the setup like uh, steps of the import reviews, 
customize review request emails, customize the review widget, set up the review carousel, and etc. So now I'm going to explain for you what is uh, happening and what is going to be available into the dashboard. Now you can see that we have the review dashboard. This is going to be the reviews that you have imported from all sources. So you can import and synchronize the reviews and the source is going to be well, uh, let's say here known from that we have uh, imported or we have explained earlier. Now you can see the product reviews. You can have here all the reviews, the store reviews, the spam, the archive and etc. So if you have a, a review that you do not like basically or you can see it as a negative review that has uh, for example nonsense or it is not going to be real you can go ahead and archive it or put it as a spam. Now for the uh, filtering it is basically going to filter all of the reviews and put the spams uh, together. So whenever it is going to be a, a fake customer, for example, or a robot, or I don't know here, a buy review, it is going to be considered uh, into a spam or a simple review until it is going to be a spam. Now for the question and answers, you can go ahead and import some questions. And these questions are going to be related to the product itself. So if you're going to have some uh, specific ways to put the uh, product on function, it is going to be crucial to import the questions and you can manage the widget from here. So basically you're going to install uh, the uh, widget and it is going to have the question and also as you can see the answers. So this is the, um, uh, as you can see the review or the example of the questions and also the answers. So it is going to be something that will increase the trust level into your store. As you can see, we have the widgets. These are going to be the widgets that we can add as blocks or sections. You can go ahead and customize, install, and add wherever you want. Now, heading back to the reviews, uh, as you can see here, I'm not going to be interested in here, but the management. So you can have here some moderation going on by having the uh, new reviews automatically posted uh, you can review uh, publish the reviews manually have for example the auto publish rating criteria you have some restrictions from the web reviews spam filters personal information setup profanity filters and etc basically it is going to be moderation for all the reviews that you're going to receive now for the product and the groups you can find all the products that you have and also the organic or the imported reviews that you have set up for this product. You can have the overall rating, the type of the product, the vendor, and etc. And from here, you can modify wherever you want. So you can see details and disable the review request from the product. Now for collecting the reviews, it is going to be something that we have uh, took from the beginning. The widgets are going to be something that we have also um, reviewed. Marketing and social, this is going to be for the coupons, basically. You can go ahead and create some coupons to write some reviews uh, and give them away. But this is going to be into a, uh, a specific paid subscription, not a standard one. So you can go ahead and have this automation set up. Maybe you are going to say that you can go ahead and set up this uh, for free from Shopify by having email marketing campaigns. But I assure you this is going to be very worth it. Why? Because you're not going to break your head having the emails generated and also adding the codes for the promotions or the coupons. So as you can see, this is going to be a, uh, something that you're going to need. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, the referrals, you're going to have the referrals, but these are going to be paid. Google and SEO. Also, we are going to have the SEO snippets to help you uh, stand out with your products. Uh, Judge.me review site, as you can see, you can visit the reviews site and etc. to turn them on. Also, you can have some uh, review from social media links and etc. We have the social push or the notification, which is going to be also available with the authentication of Facebook, Instagram, and also X. 
So basically that was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And I hope to see you in the next one.